fucking infuriating. I understand it, Destiny, you condescending fuck. Don't worry about that. That's preposterous, Destiny. What the fuck are you talking about? Okay, we just did a huge topic change, but now we're not talking about race anymore. Now we're talking about people's, like, legal backgrounds. Can we move on to a topic that you're comfortable discussing? Because you did say that. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about being over five foot tall. Um, you want to just get right into it? You want to do preliminaries? What's up? I don't know. I don't know how your show works. Oh, I just chat with people. That's pretty much what I do. I don't really have is this, Are we on the show right now? Yeah. Is that what yeah. this is? Yep, we're live. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, I don't know how long your show goes. I got to hop off to get to work yeah, that's in fine. a little bit, but I got a while. Yeah, I've got, I've got, I have another talk lined up, so I've got about an hour and ten minutes, so that's the most I can do. Oh, that's more. good. Um... Oh, we're into it then. Yeah. Um, I I guess I'll continue our Twitter conversation if you want to call it that. Uh, my overall point, though, is that I think you're kind of a weaselly piece of shit. Yeah, why do you think you, I'm weaselly? You argue like a scumbag. I think you, you embody this new culture of arguing where um, people willfully misrepresent the point of the other side. They willfully don't understand it or they willfully misrepresent what the other other side of the conversation is saying sure so what do you think point. i'm misrepresenting uh well i mean that's that's a great example my point is a is a bigger one but i think you want specifics so you can obsess about the finer points the details and pick them apart uh i'm not that familiar with your work but everything i have seen is um is you hearing what people say and twisting it around cool. twisting it around and then uh pretending to take the moral high ground gotcha so I would say then um, that you seem to be the embodiment of every horrible person that I argue against, where you come with me, you, you come at me with kind of like these arguments, and mm -hmm. then when I ask you to like substantiate any of them, it's always like, well, this is just how I feel. I don't have any actual facts. I can't really back up anything I'm saying. This oh, no. I... I feel. Well, because you, you levied a pretty specific charge. You say that I misrepresent uh -huh. what people say. That was your argument, right? You say that I misrepresent yeah. it and then kind of argue against straw men or tilt yeah. at windmills, but you can't name a single time I've done that, not even one time, but you have this really right. strong feeling of me doing it? Nope, incorrect. Uh, th and this is exactly what I mean. I think you want to drill down to specifics so you can find a, specifics and, a specific and then continue drilling down. Uh, the idea can be supported, I think, by probably any argument you've ever had. Uh, I looked at, I've only seen your arguments with about like social justice issues and shit like that and Mr. Medicare and shit on Trump. And I've never once heard you repeat what someone told you in a way that was fair to them. Well, All I, I ever repeated, see is you willing... Go I ahead. just repeated your argument back to you, and it seemed like a fair summary of your argument. Now, you said you watched my argument with Mr. Medicare. Can you think of anything in that argument that... And I'm not asking... I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to like, get you. Like, I understand you don't watch all my shit or maybe even any of my shit. But I'm just yeah. curious because I, I hear people say this, and it comes off to me as, like, I'm very frustrated that you out-argued my particular social idol, and now I'm going to levy these charges at you. But then when I ask, like, okay, well, what's something that you feel like I misrepresented my conversation partner on? I never get an answer. So I have to wonder, sure. like, is that actually how you feel? Are you just upset that I out-argued somebody that you look up to or, like... Right. See, I, I see the I see the way you're framing it already. You're making it about feelings. When I, I'm not I'm, trying to has frame anything. To do with my feeling. If, if you but feel... you are, But this is this is the point. You are. This is how. Like you are the embodiment of a manipulative arguer. How am I? You, I don't even think you know anything. you're doing it. You wow. just do it. You you understand what I'm saying is it has to be about feeling because you're the logical one. But it's got nothing to do with. I don't feel that you are this way. If you want an example, I was watching you debate Medicare about Trump, and you said Trump said all Mexicans are rapists and criminals which isn't isn't what isn't what he said it's not what mr medica says but that's just you take it you explode it okay so, so it's so it's bad so you can vilify so, it that's so what firstly you, do. you said that i'm trying to make it about feelings or whatever so yeah. when we argue we have fact versus feeling so if you tell me if you say destiny i feel like you misrepresent people's arguments and then i ask you okay well what argument have i misrepresented and you go well i don't have any yeah. examples then that, those no, are I your feelings we're talking feelings they're now. all we're... examples i don't think you could find an argument where you actually argue at somebody's point i think you can okay, just but you can't name it's so strange that i do this so often but you can't name a single time it's happened that's very strange i just to me. did 
Okay, so did. we can talk specifically then about that, about me arguing with Mr. Medicare. So yeah. one of the things that Trump said on the debate trail is, it was something along the lines of like, when Mexico sends its immigrants or whatever with the illegals, they're yeah. not sending their best. They're sending rapists, uh -huh. murderers, and thieves, and some of them are good people, I imagine, right? Right. So the implication there is that most Mexicans that come over are rapists, thieves, and murderers or whatever. But that, no, no, that's, that's your implication. Like, I don't want to get bogged down in the whole Trump thing because it's been beaten to death by everybody, but that's... Your implication behind I think what that's he a said. pretty standard reading. Like if I could swap out that noun Mexicans with anything else and those adjectives with anything else, when yeah. you when you say I think that X group of people are A, B, and C, and some of them are D, then the implication is that most of those people are A, B, and C. That's how standard English would read that, right? Because you use the word some, and some usually means less than fifty percent, and the other three things would represent most. I think that's a pretty easy syntax. To understand this is the gibberish it's this is like this is what you do this what is did i say that you felt like was what gibberish I'm talking about well what it's did i not... say that felt like gibberish to you can you explain right at the beginning okay. right at the beginning when Which you part? said it's either it's either logic or feeling that is not true the way people communicate is they do their best to cram all these words together and it takes a little bit it takes a little bit of understanding on the other side I in agree. this case for example many people would interpret that differently but you pretend like it doesn't what no, you do totally... is you pretend like one side is feeling and that's bad and one side is logical and that's what you represent and that's the bullshit part. So I agree with you that you have mm -hmm. to interpret it, right? This is called, in, when, when we try to figure out what people are thinking, it's, an, it's a form of inductive reasoning. I can't ever truly know what Trump is thinking. I can only go by his words. But this yep. isn't the only time that he's made kind of a disparaging comment against Mexican people. He's got a, a plethora of other comments in his backstory that can be used to give an unfavorable interpretation of what he said here. Now, if somebody mm -hmm. like Obama made a statement like this or somebody, some left-leaning uh, lib cuck SJW or whatever made a statement like this, I'll probably be a little bit more lenient because I understand kind of what their what their general, you know, ideology is. So I, I can kind of understand better like, OK, well, maybe they misspoke here. But I don't think Trump is misspeaking here because he's made plenty of derogatory statements about people of Mexican heritage or Mexican people in general. So I think it's a pretty fair reading of what he said, both dictionarily and contextually. And this is what you consider a debate. See, f at first, we had a very clear idea, which is you manipulate what people say. And now it's, it's, it's drilled down to the point of absurdity. We're talking about what Trump meant and what you can bust Trump on saying. But this is, this is my overall point. So you misrepresent you what people say, and you need, you need specifics to live. Or else you can't twist words and show off your vocabulary to make somebody look wrong. That's what you do. And that's what a tremendous amount of people are aspiring to do on the Internet. And it's fucking infuriating. I, I totally it's understand. To understand yeah. Well, it's not pointless. I get what you're saying. So you want to talk about things like you you want to talk about feelings. You want to talk about how you feel. About no, things. again, yeah, again, you, because you're totally criticizing, me, you're criticizing no. me for asking for specifics, dude. Do you not understand how silly that sounds like? No, you just I, I want example. You're it's, making it sound by labeling one side as feelings when it's not. There's. Overall, you've got a tremendous you've got a tremendous body of work, maybe bigger than anybody else on Twitch. I don't know. I'm not a Twitch fan. But in all of them, in all of them, the way you approach arguments is the same. Yeah, it's pretty much the other person's argument as crazy and wrong. And your side is the logical one. You don't work on specifics either. You demand specifics until you get that fix where you can drill down and make them seem stupid. But I just gave you a specific Trump quote. I can give you specific backing reasons for why I think he's kind of have a, a disparaging like outlook towards Mex Mexicans. No, no, I, I understand that. This And this is why I don't think you think you're doing it on purpose. Like, I don't think you're even aware of what you're no, doing. No, I argue. This I do everything on talk. purpose. Yeah, I, I want to talk about specifics. This is a big difference between me and most people is that most uh -huh. people want to talk about outrage culture. They want to use generalities so that they can kind of insert a lot of weasel words or feelings into it. I like to talk about yep. specific policies, specific statements, specific senators and congressmen. Like I, I enjoy the specifics. It takes more research. It gives you a better understanding of the topic. If I, uh -huh. anything I say bothers you, you can point it out specifically, but don't just try to erase an entire statement I say by saying I'm just drilling down. Like every word I say is very purposeful. Like I, I don't I'm not just like throwing a bunch of random shit at you. If there's something you yeah. don't understand, feel free to point it out. We can oh, go no, over I, I understand it, Destiny, you condescending fuck. Don't worry about that. It serves the conversation not at all to drill down to what Trump said in an offhand comment about Mexicans. The it's overall not... point is so the crux of what I'm saying, the point of it is always more important. And that's what you never do. You always so, fail to understand the point of what people are saying. Sure. In the preference of, uh, so, I, I don't even know what you call it, what you do. It's, it's, it's like reducing a point to these 
absurdist these absurd these absurdist factoids. So you can argue these logically argue these factoids. This tyranny of of logistics. Okay. So and I and I think you're a big believer in it, which is what makes me sick. So I feel like. I, I'm, I'm saying things very purposefully. I can defend oh, so everything I've said. said. I feel like, right? That's a big fuck up in your well, world. Well, no, I, I feel like I'm saying things very purposefully, but you're throwing out uh -huh. a lot of like very weird, like meaningless statements that really aren't serving the conversation. You just said that something that Trump said in an offhanded comment about Mexicans. He's made yeah. interviews where he's spoken very specifically about how he feels about Mexicans, and he's had repeated points that he's talked about, very big talking points for his uh -huh. entire campaign. These aren't just offhanded yeah. comments. I don't know why you would dismiss his rhetoric like that. I mean, it's a very because. It's, part of how he talks it's, it's so obvious what's so obvious many people that he's talking about criminals that he's talking about an illegal act a desperate act and that illegal that, and that desperate people do it and then it's a breeding down ground for crime it's it's obvious it's obvious to everybody everybody who wants to see what he's talking about it's obvious but you don't want to see it you want to twist it around and make it this word game because that's where that's where you live i mean that's what that's okay, the so... battleground that you're comfortable on is these stupid <clears throat> So if we look at things that Trump has said specifically in regards to Mexicans, okay, we have uh -huh. the recent act um, where he's trying to get rid of DACA, I think. Um, I don't know how this is going to pan out, but where he's trying to get rid of DACA. We've got yeah. a case where he said that a judge couldn't make a ruling on a case that he was involved in because his parents were Mexican. Uh, mm -hmm. We've got this continued push for, quote unquote, the wall. We have his claim that three million illegals somehow voted. He's made a lot of disparaging comments against immigrants or illegal immigrants like over the course of his political career, his pretty short political career, I think it's pretty uh -huh. fair to read into his comments and say that he probably has a pretty unfavorable opinion of, of Mexicans in general. Nope, that's where you're wrong. Okay, See, that's so where can you, you make tell the me leap. why? Because everything that you said right before that is, is, a, is a function of the law. Everything that you said, everything that you said before Mexicans is a, is function, a function of the law. Okay, can you tell me how a federal judge is not allowed to rule on a Trump case because his parents are Mexican? How is that a function of the law? Because he's a judge. What do you mean? They're the they're the arbiters of the law. You realize what do you that mean? He how wasn't... is a judge a part of the law? Okay, you know he's that the king of the law. You know that judges aren't allowed to recuse themselves because their parents are Mexican. Like he wouldn't uh -huh. even be allowed to legally recuse himself there. So how would him recusing himself be a function of the law? So. Okay, and this is where the this is where the uh, the absurdist arguments that you're making, the reduction, the logical reduction to absurdism, really, really takes it home. Okay, can we change uh, the topic into something you're no, more no, equipped no, no. to you're, talk you're about? No, 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 no. You're suggesting that well, you're suggesting I don't think that you know what I don't think you know anything not about be this influenced. topic. Is, no, no, is you he don't. A donator you don't... to La Raza? is the judge a donator to. La... What do you think La Raza is? What's his background? What do you think La Raza we... is? Why is every? Uh, what is La Raza to you? What do I think La Raza is? Yeah, what is La Raza to you? It's a, a it's a uh, an organization to advance um, Mexican rights that that is that is extremely pro um, protecting illegal immigrants. What, so do, you, what do you mean? La Raza, is, La Raza is the name of thousands of different organizations across Mexico. It just means the yeah. race. The particular La Raza <laughs> that this judge belonged to was yeah. literally just an organization to help people like get scholarships and become like paralegals and move into law. It's literally all it was. It's not the extremist La Raza, whatever from Mexico or whatever. It's just the point he's the... Trump's <laughs> making is our people. Are people colored by their backgrounds? Are people's uh -huh. judgments colored by their backgrounds? Which we're told it's so important to have diversity. His background in is an American. Because backgrounds influence your decisions. And then Trump says, hey, this guy's background might influence his decision. And everybody goes, whoa, 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 whoa. What do you, what do you, that's racist. Wait, man. his background that's is American. Racist. Firstly, you, so you didn't know what La Raza was, even though you seem to have a very strong I, I, opinion everybody on Everybody knows what La Raza is. You didn't know what, so you knew that La Raza wasn't some extremist organization that advocates for illegal immigrants. It's just something that, that it was a little organization that like advocates for I didn't for say Hispanic it was kids. extremist, you dipshit. Stop you said, you said manipulating they tried to... my arguments. I'm sorry, did this you say? This is what you do. You want an example? <laughs> Take that one. Did you, did you or did you not say? Pop up on so you can see your screen and write that one down. Did you this say is that? what you do. I didn't say it was extremist, but that's why they exist. Didn't to get you say... money and protect illegal immigrants yeah. in Mexico. Wouldn't, wouldn't you say that an organization that protects illegal immigrants is kind of extremist? Is, not, is that not fair to say? I don't, I don't know how you would phrase it. But I would that's say that's function. kind of extremist, but that's not what this organization does. It has nothing to I mean, do with it. Every illegals. organization is extremist then. The FBI is extreme about the law. Okay, it this, this La Raza matter. that he belonged to had nothing uh -huh. to do with illegal immigrants. That's, that's not what this is. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, so you, you but did... but that's again. This is beside the point. It's does somebody's background influence their decision? That he's my he his might background have a is that he's American. He was born in America. He can run for president. Okay, so so in your mind, in your mind, it just so happens that it's it's luck that Supreme Court justices appointed by liberal presidents happen to always decide liberally, and conservative Supreme Court justices happen to always decide conservative. That's just a that's just a happenstance, is what you're saying. Well, that was that a... people's backgrounds don't influence the law at all because they're all just Americans. It's it's preposterous, Destiny. What the fuck are you talking about? Okay, we just did a huge topic change, but now we're not talking about race anymore. Now we're talking about people like legal backgrounds trump was never talking about the legal background of this judge he was saying that just because his parents were mexican he wouldn't be able to sit on his case he wasn't talking I, about any rulings he's made that was I, that cannot possibly be trump's quote that just because this judge's parents are mexican Oof. well you did say so you didn't watch any of the interviews can we move on to a topic that you're comfortable discussing because he did say that <laughs> yeah let's talk about being over five foot tall that's a comfortable that's a topic i'm comfortable about talking about okay sure i can talk about that too i guess if that's... <sighs> What's something that you think you know a little bit more about? Because I, I can I see that you haven't like heard anything about this. You are such a condescending <laughs> prick. I understand I mean, why everybody because, hates you because now. Because you're acting this insanely. Because you're trying to act very condescending to me, and you're just getting nailed to the wall and saying stupid shit. Like, you don't know what you're talking about insofar as this case goes. You started this conversation off, like, ready to go hard on me, but you have no examples of anything you're talking about. This is every conversation I have. I expected a little bit more from the legendary Dick Masterson. You need like, examples. That's yeah, a problem. I do. You need this when Overwhelming example. I, don't, I just need one. You can't understand a. You can't understand a single one. That's I, the point. I could though. Like there's this. All of there's so many people who can look at it and use use their own intelligence to say like, oh yeah, I see. I see what's going on here. I see how. I see how what Destiny's saying is not what the other guy said. That's all that matters. Did Destiny say what the other guy said? Did he represent what he said accurately and fairly? No. That's all the example you need. You see that 600 times in a row and you think, wow, that guy's kind of a fuckhead. Like, no, no wonder everybody fucking hates him because he's manipulative. He's just a real manipulative piece of shit. And I understand it now talking to you because I say you immediately jump to these obscure facts that you claim are true and then say them as con condescendingly as possible what's an obscure fact these are all very like widely known things i haven't spoken any obscure oh it's facts. not a widely Can known you give me a single Trump obscure fact can't decide because he has mexican that parents. was a very famous interview do you want to look do you we could watch the interview it's like a three minute clip together right now if you really want to oh you had it prepared what a surprise no but i could find it pretty quickly because it was a very very pop do you want to watch it or do you want to move on to another topic i mean i i don't care all this trump stuff is is uh sure that's fine it, we can move on from it i followed it all very carefully so this is probably not an area that you want to discuss with me i understand <laughs> there's a condescending again <laughs> yeah I'll be i mean it's I'll great be all your, your little lollipop guild probably eats it up but sure. it is it is the mark of a piece of shit sure so the reason why i ask for specific examples is because most people that are in your camp to go back mm. to my earlier argument, tend to argue with their feelings. So what yeah, I have right, to do right, when we right. talk about any particular event, I have to establish that we're both existing in the same reality. So, for uh -huh. instance, if I'm having a conversation on, well, this isn't, it doesn't have to be this example, but about the Trump lawyer thing, I need to know that the person I'm talking to, one, knows the specific comments that Trump has made, and then two, knows the background of the judge. Because if he legitimately thinks the judge is, the judge is part of some organization that protects illegal immigrants, then Trump's comments are a lot more legitimate, right? Their argument becomes valid at that point so i have yeah, to go the organization the that protects illegal immigrants is the democratic party God, so nice. let's Good it doesn't need there. to be an extremist organization <laughs> sure. that's it's isn't just, what we're talking about hey, whoa, 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 you're like jumping onto by his that's background a totally no, i'm topic. not jumping you around are. i'm you just did. interrupting you your your grandstanding bullshit i'm not trying about, to grandstand i'm trying oh, to explain in the same reality yeah this is an important part of a debate to be in the same fucking reality and go over these minutiae no the point is do you think he's influenced by his background or not if yes, then maybe he should recuse himself. If no, then I got a bridge to sell you because you're an idiot. So unfortunately, earlier you used the statement function of the law, and there was no way for the judge to legally recuse himself in this circumstance. There's been plenty of lawyers that have written about it. He couldn't even, if and even if he wanted to, just because your parents are Mexican, it's not a valid mm -hmm. reason to recuse That's yourself. That's not what he said. Case. Again, I know you hit the same. I know you hit the same phrase over and over. Not and only did in, he say that, he but later on in the interview, I think it was Tapper asked him if there was a Muslim judge, if he'd be able to rule on his case, and I think Trump said that he probably couldn't either. So yeah, Trump Trump did take it that far. Um, it's a very popular interview. I encourage you to look it up when we're done with this conversation before you bring it up again and embarrass yourself by not knowing anything about it. But um, 
<laughs> yeah, the, 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 the being part of the same reality is like really important because otherwise we're arguing things. This is why I like specific examples. Destiny, you know? well, you're deluding yourself thinking that you're this like in, this personification of logos. You're not, nobody is this logical. Like this is the religion that you tell yourself so you always think you're right. That it's possible to be in the same reality and work for the ready? same fact set. But you're just as Wrong emotional bar. as I'm everybody so else. You're just as emotional, it's just that your arguing style is fucked. That's the cancerous part of you, that you drill down until you get these these little uh, these little word game victories, and nobody understands each other any better. That's the I guess that's the cosmic shame with you. That's what annoys me so much about you. Yeah, I, I would agree that to some extent it's hard to come to an understanding, but that's usually because what I find out after, as you say, drilling down, I find out that the other person typically just doesn't really know what they're talking about. They're, they're really no, basing it's... all of their stuff on feelings. Kind of like when you come in and say, I do all these manipulative argumentative techniques, and then uh -huh. you say you've watched a, a debate, but then you can't name a single time I did it. It, it makes me wonder, like, well, so what are you basing this I named this a single time you did it right away. That's yeah, you Trump. did it about the Trump stuff, and, and we found out through yeah. having this conversation and drilling down that you really have no idea what you're talking about insofar as this stuff goes. So really all you did was hurt your argument because the one example you gave completely fell apart. This is why people like oh you God, don't you like giving examples. You should teach a course in how to I would. argue. Yeah, you're no, so I wish I could. I really I really would like wow. to. It's pretty basic stuff. You could learn most of it in like five or ten minutes. But like, this is why I like going into specific arguments. So now I can see that you know the foundation that you build your arguments off of is is almost non-existent, right? You don't argue. You don't argue at all, man. Like you don't ever seek to. Well, I, you know, maybe maybe you do. Maybe that's all you want to do is argue. But you don't want to understand anybody. You don't look at what someone is saying. You don't try to interpret it the way they meant it. You just aggressively attack. You aggressively attack what you think are mistakes, and you reframe the what argument. What do you think I don't interpret to... correctly? Can Can you stop making accusations about me without any examples? Can Can you give me an example of something you don't think I interpret correctly? Like I said, I've I've listened to I don't know twenty minutes of your interviews. And in those twenty minutes, you got this opinion of me, but you can't remember why you had. Well, this no, opinion when of me. when we were tweeting too, I didn't I didn't. I, okay, I what see did I say when I was too. tweeting? That's why you're so goddamn aggravating. What did you say? What did you say when I was tweeting that you felt like was a bad argument? Oh Jesus beginning? Christ! Uh, ah, you have all these strong it. opinions, but you can't remember a single thing. So why do you have important. these opinions? Because it's not like when you if you identify someone as an argumentative asshole, just mm -hmm. write them off. Don't waste any more time thinking about like there's a million of you, man. Half of the world is people like you that just think they're right and learn all these stupid arguing tricks online to arguing prove it to tricks? themselves that they are. So when I bring up like facts about my arguments, that's an argument trick. We should just be talking uh, about our feelings instead. I feel this way. Oh, right. See, this is a trick. This is a trick when you take a criticism and then you reframe it as to something I didn't say. Because I didn't it's not say a crit facts because are tricks. Your, your I said the way you argue me, are tricks. Your all of your criticisms of me have been like, you want to drill down to examples. That's not fair. I just want to talk about generalities. Like, that's what you're telling me. Hold on, I'm looking for, I'm looking for the tweets. I gotta scroll through all this fantasy football shit. Uh... Well, it's a busy night of shit posting. Yeah, it's been a busy past few days. Thank, I appreciate you looking for specific examples. By the way, I wanna, I wanna extend that to you that I really appreciate it that you're trying real hard right now. Yeah, I mean, I don't give a shit. Like, I hear that you're always being condescending and passing it off as being this holier than how holier than thou. I don't uh, pass anything off as holier than that. I mean, I've made a lot of mistakes in my life, dude. I have a fucking. Oh, I know you're so you're so humble too. You're such a humble guy too. Yeah, I try to be. Yeah, sure. See, this is the problem with arguing, drilling down to these specifics is that they're all ridiculous in the end. What do you mean by that? Explain that statement. So I could, you know, for example, oh, fuck, I thought I had it here. Hold on. It went away. Uh, when you told me that I didn't read your article, because obviously I did read your article because I was making fun of it when you tweeted at me. Oh. I was making fun of several parts of it. I just so read your first did. tweet. Yeah, yeah, that was my mistake. I just read your first tweet where you said something like, I'm not going to read all this, ha, ha, ha. And then I was like, oh, okay, I guess I'm not going to read it. And then I usually stop reading your tweets past that point. Nah, but you responded. I think you responded to me making fun of specific parts of it, like that you can't stop using homophobic slurs and uh, I don't know, I you think have I was... a friend who's a black guy. I don't think I that's ever. that's why you're not racist. Wait, where did I say <laughs> that Is that at? a specific? Where did I say you that You said it in your, in your, on your, uh, 
on your Reddit. On your can you point me to the line? Reddit. Can you, if you can point me to yeah, that yeah, line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hypothetical example one. This yeah. is what you posted on okay. Reddit. I have a personal friend named John. I've okay. known John for 10 years. We have black friends. So not only is it that you're not racist because you have a black friend, but it's also your friends have black friends. That's how not okay. racist you are. This is a really great example. Can you read this whole thing for me, actually? Let's analyze this. No, statement. I'm not reading. No, 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 because this is so good. We're so tape. close. Let, just read this one example. It's one paragraph. Can you read that much? <laughs> no, fuck you, man. You read it yourself. I'm not okay. Reading. So I'm not reading. I'm not reading this masturbatory screed that you, that's fine. Where you no, type that's cool. Something that's so obvious to everyone, you'd need a sledgehammer in your head to knock not it. Not really. Out of you. My my views on language are relatively nuanced, but I'll, I'll read all yeah, of this for you. Says you. Yeah, says, says me. You. Sure. Yeah. Compared to the what I've seen. Professor Professor Destiny, PhD sure. in arguing. Sure. So here here is the thing. Okay. I'll start reading. I'll read the prior statement. I don't generally care about words or what people say based on the word itself. I'm generally concerned with empowering Can you and put some violin music behind this. I'm generally concerned with empowering and reinforcing racist thought and action. Hypothetical example number one. I have a personal friend named John. Say I've known John for 10 years. We've got black friends. We talk social issues. He's a chill dude. We're hanging out with another dude and he makes an ashy palms joke about another black dude with us. I don't really care about this because I know he's not racist and no one in our group is racist. Therefore, no racist thought is being empowered or perpetuated with the joke so this has this statement has nothing to do with having black friends you you actually Buddy, managed to completely miss the point you let of, it with i have black friends i didn't say you i have black friends that was one I have, we have black <laughs> friends that's why it's funny so it's funny because you don't even know you did it it's funny that's why it's, it's funny, funny because this is like you're doing like the classic like sjw outrage where you read like one <laughs> word and you get like hardcore triggered you realize it's that's funny, what you're doing shit right now, right? i'm not triggered no it's you're fun- triggered as fuck it's funny that you want to defend yourself so bad that you unironically use I have black friends. Like, there was a time when saying I have black friends wasn't a meme or a joke. But that's, It's just because that's what nervous white guys did, and here you are doing it again. But That's, that's not why the, it's funny. But that's not the argument. The argument has nothing to do here with oh, me having... Oh, fuck the argument. The argument is, is stupid. Your hypothetical example where you assume to know what is what's in this guy's head, you don't know who's a racist or not. You don't well, know if just because you and Johnny Boy have black friends, he's not a racist. You think no racist has ever had fucking friends? You think no misogynist has ever been married before, you dumb fuck? It doesn't matter who has black friends. That's why it's so stupid. That's why That's why it's such a stupid thing to say. I'm not racist because I have black friends. Like... Are you are you kidding? So if so if you said so if I said hey Destiny we're gonna go we're gonna go uh, meet the the top ten the top this is a, the greatest basketball player in the world I know I'm gonna introduce you today we're gonna have dinner he's such a fucking great guy he walks in and he's a white guy you're like oh yeah I had no preconceptions of what this meeting was going to be that it's Destiny the guy who doesn't see color at all. Okay, so I've never said I don't see color. So in order to figure out if people are or are not racist, we have to use forms of inductive reasoning, okay? If you read the hypothetical, I don't say yeah. that I know he's not racist because we have black friends, right? That's I try the to implication, hint, though. Yeah, well, I imply it because we have black friends, we have we talk social issues, he's a chill dude, right? Uh-huh. The implication here is that we're close friends, we've talked about a lot of these social issues, and I'm reasonably yeah. certain he's not racist. Now, can I know 100% if any particular person is racist? Of course not. I don't have a machine to measure what's inside somebody's head. But the point yeah. of any of these statements was never, we have black friends, so we're not racist. That's not... Then like, why did you lead off with it? That's, what's, that's what makes it funny. That's the point. That's why well, it's a joke. I led off with, I've known John for 10 years. So the, the assumed thing is that we have a very close relationship. I mean, I guess I could have led off with, we talk social issues, he's a chill dude, and we have black friends. I mean, No, you should have led off with, we, we both love hip-hop. Denzel Washington is my favorite actor, and we both have black friends. Okay, so I'll, I'll try to phrase it that way next time, if it triggers you a little bit less. but I'm not triggered. Okay, Keep saying I'm triggered. Like, I'm you not just fucking went on a triggered. whole, like, 45-second, like... Triggered yeah, that's fuck. what I do. I mean, that's kind of what I do. That's when you get triggered show. by a single for a statement? Long period of time. Well, I just think it's really funny because, like, I can speak about, like, just using the words here about my views on language, and I can very clearly mm-hmm. interpret what the statement means, but you started this conversation off saying that yeah, I willfully cause... twist people's words and don't even try to understand what they're saying, and you just totally yeah. misrepresented my whole argument in, in the first statement here. It's the, Your argument is funny. There's no re- misrepresentation. I understand why it's important to say you have black friends, but that's why it's funny. Having black it, friends wasn't part Whatever. of the argument the, the important part was establishing that i could be reasonably certain that my friend isn't racist that that because was you have black friends and because we talk social issues and because i know he's a chill uh-huh. dude oh you, oh you don't you don't think uh, you don't think nazis talk social issues i think that's their whole deal 
okay. think that's all they do is get around and talk social issues, you fucking idiot. Sure, but the implication, <laughs> if we have black friends and we talk social issues and I say he's yeah. chill, he's probably right. not a neo-Nazi. That's probably not what we're getting at. I think we can use uh -huh. some pretty simple reasoning to understand that. I mean, I think you've stumbled on why it's so difficult to prove you're not racist. Because you can't. I mean, you've tried to do it with this hypothetical example, which just reads like gibberish because anybody Well, can I mean, you can never really prove any particular person is right. I mean, my background kind of speaks for itself. I don't think anybody could seriously consider me a racist unless I'm like a, an amazing person at hiding it. But um, I mean, I don't expect you to be familiar with my background, so that's fine. I mean, I don't know. I saw your chat logs where you're dropping n bombs left and right. Like it's, left uh, and right? You mean the one chat log where I, I said it one time in an offline chat? That's you, that's enough for you, you to know it, that I'm racist. I think racist? you said it twice in that same one, and then somebody had a video clip of it. Okay. I mean, you said it. You so, got you, so I'm saying. so I'm racist now. You think that saying one word makes you racist? That's that sounds like an no. SJW view on language. Oof. No, I don't think it's. Uh, are you sure? I don't think it makes you racist. Wait, are you sure? Because no, you just said something. you weren't sure, and you said you saw that one chat log where I said it in chat once. So that's your view. If somebody says one racial slur, that means they're racist. No, it's cool dipshit. if you if I you got the same. See, this no, no. is a great example of you manipulating what people say. You fucking asshole. Okay, so then you don't think that. you don't think I that said word? I saw you dropping n bombs on a chat log. No wonder you don't understand Trump. You don't understand shit. Okay, I said I saw you on a chat log uh -huh. dropping n bombs, like, dropping n bombs like you were uh, like it was the Middle East and you were looking for oil. And they drop n bombs looking for oil in the Middle yeah, East. Yeah, they do big n bombs. They fly them over in a B twelve on an n twelve and they drop them like crazy. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I think you got. I, I, I don't know what it is. I didn't uh -huh. grow up. I didn't grow up in your area where you're online uh, dropping n bombs and like. I, I get. I get why people do it because it's a. It's a horrible thing to say and it's the worst thing you can think of to say. And there's like all this repression on speech and everybody's in a pressure cooker all day. So yeah, it's 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 probably a huge relief for you guys to drop n bombs all the time when you're online. I didn't grow up with it, so I don't have to condition myself out of it. But I don't know where that comes from. Maybe it comes from that. Maybe it also comes from kind of a, a darker place. I don't know. That's really? my point. Because you're making it sound like you, you really made it sound like on Twitter that it, it felt like you did know. You felt pretty, I mean, I could go back and find the particular tweets, but it seemed like you were, were approaching like a level of reasonable certainty that I was probably racist. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I think you probably are more racist for doing it, yeah. Okay, so then, I'm not so that wait, I'm saying that so why are you I don't so have any mad judgment about, about that. Why are, you, why are you so mad about what I said earlier then? You do think I'm racist because you saw one word in a chat log. You think that's enough to make an adequate determination that a person is racist. If somebody says one racial slur, they're probably racist. Yeah, the bar for being racist to me is extremely low. Like, I, I, you'd have to, somebody would have to be Mother Teresa for them not to be a racist. I think everybody's a little bit racist. And, every, and some more than others. So I, I don't know. I think we're we probably got different definitions or different emotional uh, attachments to the word racist. You sound you you probably use it as like a, a um, argument killer. Like if you can label somebody as a racist, then they're automatically wrong on everything. But I'm of the opinion that yeah, you know, kind of everybody's a little bit racist, and uh, let's just let's just let's try to be better. Let's try to look at all. Let's try to look at people as people, and um, let's try to structure our laws so that they're they're uh, they're blind to color instead of being racist against one group or another. Sure, I can I can agree with that. I bet you can, because it's very moral high ground, and that's what you're into. No, I thought it was because it was pretty reasonable. But, yeah, we can go with the other thing, too, if that makes you feel better. I mean, that's the thing with reason, though. It's, everybody has their own version of reason. No, like, you not wrote really. This, no. You wrote this, and you said, we have black friends, and that's reasonable to you. I would never start a sentence with, I have black friends, good to thing prove I, that that's I'm not a, a racist. It's a really good thing that I didn't start the post, the paragraph, or that sentence off with, I have black friends. Point huh? one, subsection A, I have black friends. So, point I mean, one, subsection on! A. Hypothetical example one, I have a personal friend named John. I've known John for 10 years. We have black friends. We, we talk social friends. issues. He's a chill dude. You see the one statement and you get like so triggered. Because that's the funniest one. Because that's you get what so you triggered, get. That's dude. That's why it's funny. You're so triggered. Yeah, wow. I'm so triggered. I, I get so triggered by these comedy movies and comedy posts online. It's that you can't, you have your head so far up your ass. You, mm -hmm. have, you don't have the self-awareness to see why that's funny. Like that's that's where your pretension no, comes I, from. No, I can see why you, don't you have would the think it's. To I, see no, why I it's can funny. see why you would think it's funny. Sure, because I've talked yeah. to people like you plenty. But I mean, it, I mean, it doesn't make it any re more reasonable. I mean, yeah. like I can understand a lot of what you say, or a lot of your feelings or emotions. Sure, I understand probably more of you than than you would even care to admit, because I've talked to people like oh, you, you for should, the past like three or four years. You online. should have next up on your course list should be a, a class on me. Then it's a like Professor Destiny's class on arguing, and then a class on you. 
you come to class and he tells you about you because he's yeah. so fucking smart. I mean, smart. we're in class right now, dude. You couldn't tell. <laughs> oh God. Do you have a we TA learned a little bit about inductive TA reasoning. We learned maybe. a little bit about forming uh, why specific examples are important, having conversations about our feelings. Um, yeah. We learned a little bit about La Raza. We learned a little bit about specific quotes that Trump has made. What else do you want to learn today, dude? I'm not even charging you for this. I don't know. What do you usually talk about in your show? Just politic <laughs> politics? Yeah, ba basically most of my arguments boil down to um, the person I'm talking to feels very strongly about a particular topic. I'll and ask them for... Them yeah, I'll ask them, okay, glory, well, what specifically is it about this that, that you're so upset about? And what happens mm -hmm. is generally they fail to provide any specific example. So then I say, okay, well, it seems like this is more of a position rooted in emotion rather than actual fact or logic. And eventually they'll kind of admit that and then we kind of move on. So we're about halfway through that process right now with you. I think that I think that your um, your need to have a dichotomy of feeling and logic is what makes you a bad person. Oh. I think the way you promote it, the way that you call yourself the logical one, and I know, and you're you're harmless because you're just some fucking moron mm -hmm. on the internet. But that thinking that one side is right because they're logical and clear thinking, um, I think it's it's gotten us into a lot of trouble. Sure. And I think it's a cancer. I think it's a thought cancer. Gotcha. And of uh, course, on my end, I would argue that your side is a cancer, that every idea is equally permissible, that everything no, is that, relativistic, the misrepresentation. that everything, everything, everything is, is okay. Equal. You don't have to have facts to back anything up. It's just about what you feel. Like I think that's the cancer no. that kills political no, discourse today. That's pretty much exactly what you're saying. You said no. specifically that there shouldn't Thanks. be a dichotomy between feeling and, and fact or feeling and reason. And I think there should be. You no, have your arguments need rooted. to have one. Yeah, your I think you're going to have arguments rooted in logic, feeling, right one. and I think that's, you can have arguments like, rooted in fact and logic. I prefer the latter. You seem to prefer the former. Because that's the ad you're selling, that you're the logical yeah, that's, guy. Yeah, of course that's what I sell, you're because not, that's what I believe no I am. Yeah. in what you're saying. What's not what have I said that's not logical or rational? I mean, any, any, any time where you ever start interpreting what people say, that's where your logic jumps right so off the So can you give me an end. example of something that I've said where it's, where it's not logical? Or even in this conversation. Buddy, all I know about you is your politics shit about Trump. And then I'm why so, are you making statements so about me? Trump. If you don't because know anything about me, then why are you making that statement? How could you possibly know you. that? I've seen you for 20 minutes. And every time you speak, you misrepresent what the other person And says. when you say every time, that is just some yep. amorphous blob that you can't pull anything specific out of. Right. Because who who watches a video and counts the number of transgressions a person makes? You watch it, you get annoyed, and then you think, is this guy just? Yeah, he totally's misrepresenting the other guy. I'm out. That's life. What you're so, asking, what you're asking for, is a goal that no one is a, a requirement that no one could possibly satisfy. So that's most what people, makes you so disingenuous. Most people make, don't satisfy it. I agree with that. That's why I think it's cancerous. You uh, asked me about specific statements that about a, a feeling that Trump has, or a feeling that I have about Trump. Not only did I tell you I feel this way about Trump, I could give you specific reasons why I felt that way. So if we were writing like college your papers. No, not my yeah. interpretations. I gave you They're specific facts. No, I gave you specific Nobody knows statements. What's in the guy's head. I gave you specific statements that Trump made about Mexicans, about a Mexican judge, and about his recent repeal of DACA. I gave you these specific examples to support my argument that Trump doesn't like Mexicans. Your counter. He said, "I love Hispanics." So there, if we're going by your stupid ass quote system, then that negates everything you said. It right? doesn't negate it because they we can wait. No, if you want to, we can like tweet. No, we so can, there you, I love Hispanics. There sure. you go. So Everything's let's wait. washed away because so, it's destiny world where you just go by exactly what everyone says all no. the time. So let's weigh these statements. He, he makes a statement, I love Hispanics. What has he done to support that statement? Because I can support the other end a lot more than you can. Can you give me a single example of what he's done to show his love of Hispanics? Yeah, he's tried to cut down on illegal immigration. Okay, he's trying to stop it? illegal immigration. Uh, not, having a wall, not having a wall in America perpetuates a system of slave labor. America slave runs labor? on the broken back yeah, of Mexican slaves. The, the Mexicans who illegally immigrate here have no rights. They have no fucking rights. They don't have the ability to negotiate. They don't, they don't have any of the rights that we have for American autonomy. They cannot live the American dream. And we make that possible by building an economy based on their slave labor. It's cruelty. So the best thing he could do, the best thing Trump could do for Mexicans both across the border on the U.S. side and in Mexico is stop that economy of slave labor as quickly as possible. And that's that says more about loving Mexicans than anything else he could do. If Mexicans are being enslaved in the United States, then why do they risk their lives and the lives of their families to illegally immigrate here? Oh, so you think that so you think that they're not enslaved just because they're risking their lives to be here? I'm just curious what your answer to that question is. 
because it's better than being in fucking Mexico. Ah. Because we have ruined Mexico with a war on drugs and by stealing their hard laborers. We've decimated the country with this shit. Okay, so they make the choice to come to the United States to work in conditions, I guess, that you think suck, which I guess compared to middle class jobs they do, but it's better than being in Mexico. Well, it's better than it's I mean, I don't want to get into the head of every Mexican immigrant, but it's better for their family. It's better for them. It's, it's and better you're for, saying it's so better Trump for them is overall. trying to help Mexicans by keeping them from making a choice that they're electing to do to move to a place that's better for them than where they came from. That's your logic. No, you're I'm I'm saying if you're looking for Trump loving Mexicans, what he's doing will be very good for them. Because they are very good abused. for them by depriving them of a choice that they're making by your own admission to move to a place that's better off for them. Um, I don't know that it's better off. Then why would they it's... make the choice? Well, in in their minds, it is better. Maybe off. we Listen, should move on. Maybe understand. we should move on. Let's move on to another topic. I think I do. No, understand no, don't this. move on to another I think topic. We should... you <laughs> dumb shit. Do you not understand what it is to be a, an illegal immigrant in this country? I think we should do move, on. Let's move on. Do you not understand that standing at um, Home Depot sucks? Do you Are you talk, fucking retarded? Do you, wanna, yeah, American do you not stand understand that? Do, do, you do you want to talk about? Um, do you honestly think wait, wait, that let's talk about. Let's talk about. Let's talk about horrible things. Labor. Wait. Have you ever done a day of manual labor? I have actually. I have. That's what I did. That's what fuck? I did before streaming. Yeah, I have actually. So I got I mean, I know you can't pick there. oranges because you can't reach the trees. Do, is that what people do? They 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 get the six foot plus Mexicans. Let's um. What about like something really bad? An SJW said on Twitter. Do you want to talk about that? Or do you want no, to I would about... like to talk about why you think Mexicans are cool coming into the U.S. and that it's not just a form of slave labor. I think that Mexicans— you think they get any of their Social Security money back that they have to pay in with their fake IDs, by the way? Working at McDonald's? Wait, so if Mexicans are being enslaved and they don't have any rights and they're not getting, like, yeah. Social Security and they're not paying taxes, how are they paying into Social Security? What... They have to with a, with a fake ID. In order to get employed, you have to get a fake ID or something like that, and, they, and the, uh, your company withholds – your company payroll has to withhold your taxes. Yeah, if you give them an SSN and they don't pay you under the table, sure. Oh, yeah, you can't – oh, yeah, McDonald's is run on under-the-table kitchen employment. Are you fucking kidding me? You have to supply some kind of SSN. There's a shitload of illegal Mexican slave money going into the uh, – so so okay. Security, if you so think that if you think that working at McDonald's is slave labor, what about the Americans that work at McDonald's? The Americans that work at McDonald's have a choice. They have a ch and it's not just We just McDonald's. established that Mexicans made the choice to illegally immigrate to the United States to work. No, they McDonald's. have American rights. They have a choice to negotiate. They have a choice to improve When their was life. the last time you applied for a here. job at McDonald's and negotiated your pay? You can negotiate off of other opportunities, moron. You don't negotiate. So with every McDonald's Mexican, well, Mexican negotiated an opportunity. They could have worked in Mexico or they came to the United States. And they don't all have to work at McDonald's. They can do other types of work as well. I mean, I don't know, man. If you don't think that if you don't think that being an illegal here it puts you at a significant disadvantage, is just as it puts you at a disadvantage American, to the you're natives fucking, here. You're just as stupid as I thought. Why are you like, misrepresenting you're just as my argument? As I thought you Wait, were. why are you misrepresenting my argument? I never because said you're that... trying to argue that Mexicans aren't at a disadvantage. That no. illegal Mexicans aren't at a disadvantage. You've made you you've made enough statements that I'm just using your statements. I don't disagree that Mex that illegal immigrants are at a disadvantage to natives, but mm -hmm. by your own admission, they're doing better than the people that are staying in Mexico. So that's probably no, that's, why they I didn't say that you did. I mean, they well, think I, they I, think it'll be better for their kids. Okay. Themselves. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what. I, th I thought using. that when I asked you, I don't try to pretend to get in other people's brains like you do. Okay, I'm sorry. Because I thought that I asked you specifically why they came over here, but with slave labor, and you said that they chose that because they thought they'd be better here than there. Did you not say that? I thought you said that specifically. They thought their situation would be better here. Okay, so they did choose to come here because they thought they'd be better. Well, yeah, dummy. There's not somebody with a gun across the border shoving Mexicans in. Okay, so that means that they are choosing to come over here and, and do these jobs. They're not being forced to do it. So even if they're worse off than the natives here, they're still better off than staying in Mexico. I, if you say so. Well, I, I mean, I, I'm, 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 I, I believe that people generally make, like, rational decisions. So I feel like uh -huh. that's probably why they do it. I doubt that a ton of Mexicans are leaving Mexico, coming to the U.S. and be like, oh, God, we made a huge mistake. Like, I don't think that otherwise illegal immigration would stop, right, I imagine? Like, they tell it, like, crossing back, they'd be like, oh, hombre, don't come over here, it's really bad. And they would all just run back, I guess? I don't know, right? Yeah, I have spoken like a true asshole. I like a what, true asshole? What, what did I say that yeah. was ass that was assholish? Um, your, your trivialization of the, the way these people think, of the way that 
How am I trivializing what they think? The border. I'm saying I mean, that Mexicans a... probably illegally immigrate to the United States because they think even while being at a disadvantage in the U.S., there's greater opportunity available to them here than in mm -hmm. Mexico. That's what I think. How right. am I trivializing anything? The way, the way anything? we've set up a system where they're abused for doing mm -hmm. it is, uh, is cruel, is unconscionable to a lot of people. Uh, yeah, cool sure. You could, yeah, you could definitely argue that. Sure. So I guess I won. Trump is compassionate to Mexicans after all. I win the debate. Good for fucking me. Do you, if you feel that way, sure. What do you want to talk about next? No, I, I think I'm good. I'm okay. done. Right. Uh, it's well, been listen, an enlightening I, conversation. Yeah, I enjoyed I having the conversation. Um, you can actually remember from this cover, remember specifics. So when somebody asks you in the future, why is Destiny, you know, such an asshole? You'd be like, well, he quotes things that I said, um, and then he uses them against me because I destroy my own arguments and it's just bullshit. Yeah. And he just wants to argue about examples all day. Instead of just talking about broad feelings, he just wants to go into specifics and it's bullshit. So at least you can say that the next time you talk, and then you can give him examples from our cover. When I, I brought up, when I brought up La Raza, right, so. he wanted to bring up what La Raza actually was. It was bullshit. And when he started throwing Trump quotes at me, when I just wanted to talk about what I thought Trump felt without bringing up any quotes at all, he just brought up specific quotes. It was so ridiculous. You can tell that to your whole fan base. It'll be super cool, dude. Well, um, yeah, I guess uh, I guess I in the argument department I came up a little short, huh? <laughs> you know what that's like. <laughs> At least Don't I didn't come up a little bald. <laughs> Got him. All right, that was uh, that was about as cancerous as I thought it'd be. Whew. How, how are we how are we doing boys holy shit